Welcome back to the show, everyone. Uh, if you watch this program at all, you know we are huge fans of our next guest, and uh, always a pleasure to have him on, talk, hang out. Absolutely. Pamela Masick is joining us now, along with Andy Chu from FMA, to talk about a great uh, little story. Andy, is this is your happening? first time on the show? I don't think you guys like me at all. We oh, love God. you. <laughs> I'm holding his Look, hand. Look, let's let's get the room cleansed Andy, right now. But, I'll school you. <laughs> but but I see. I have bumped into you ten times in the last week. I yeah. say I don't like you. Should I leave now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How are you both? We just hang out, okay? We're just yeah, that's right. We're no, Andy's friends. paying me to be on the show today. Yeah. So what is the connection between you as artists and we know Andy from FMA? Pamela, what's the connection? We go way back. Don't way we? back. Actually, it was funny because I, I remember like it was years ago, I had a studio in Gastown, wheeling out my easel during the jazz festival, painting a three by four canvas. Different my hair. rigs catching on fire because I'm an idiot. And, and it was only like maybe weeks later when he was telling me about, you know, Fashion Rocks up time, now FMA. Yep. And I had to pitch my idea and paint. I wanted to paint like a 20 foot painting. I'd never done it before. Wanted to paint it live again without <laughs> the braids catching on fire this yeah. time, hopefully. But that was a long time but ago. But with live music yeah. and fashion show at the same time. Yeah. So, wait a second. So, the first time that, that you painted and, and Andy was sort of there and, and documenting everything, how long did it take you to do that piece? <laughs> a couple hours? Listen, all I can say is that when I'm 80, it'll take me like two, two seconds. seconds. <laughs> that took me two and a half hours, and I would be in bed for two days after because it was so exhausting. Now, Andy, I learned since that then. show's only an hour and a half. Well, whatever. What, what, what were you doing there? Yeah. Not too bad. Hour. Now, Andy, there's a party <laughs> happening <laughs> that has to do with Pamela, your studio. We knew this is going to be torn down, but why yeah. not have a big party? Uh, tell us a little bit about the party. Actually, um, Pam come up that idea. I'm an idea girls. machine. Bills in the mail, man. <laughs> okay, carry on. Um, you know what? It's, it's the studio which I've had for like over ten years. Different buildings, most most of the time, decrepit buildings that are about to be torn down, which was the case with this one, uh, fourteen thousand square feet. However, and over time, you know, instead of having like thirty people to a, to a show or none at all, you know, I I tend to get like twelve hundred, eight hundred. Like a lot of people end up coming, and I I've learned over time that. The interactive element, people want to be engaged, not just, you know, come to be seen and mm -hmm. art on the wall. It's like this certain, almost like this inspiration and probably like the going right back to the 60s, which is, you know, one of my favorite times to look back and, you know, Andy Warhol, for instance, right. the factory and that kind of thing. Yeah, the party becomes the art as well as the art being the and art. And the funny thing is, like, Andy over the years, he's always provided this interactive element in, in every show I've ever done. And why not bring it full circle and like the last show before demolition, give a hint to when I'm opening up, you know, in March or whatever, and doing something together because, you know, I've always respected you. So what are you going to do years. at the party, Andy? I mean, <laughs> what, what are you going to do at the party? Are, are you documenting things or? Um, are, no, we're going to create a lot of different elements and themes and then more interactive with the people are going to be there, all the yeah. party people. Tell them about so, well, and tell them now it's called cool. the Factory Girls. There is an Andy Warhol theme. Do people, does one come in costume? Pamela, I don't doubt you will have the most amazing costume ever. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what? I can say this. Actually, I've, you know, I love collaborating with artists that I like. <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> it's more fun to collaborate with artists you don't like sometimes. That's even and I met this artist, and you know, and everyone, you know, in, in their own right, she's she makes these amazing pinatas, and we're making this kick-ass pinata, like huge disco ball. That's one thing. Then we have like the film where you walk in, you you know, put your hand in. You have to, you have to, if you're going to be in the film, yeah. You have to agree to the what you have, you know you're. Gonna it is a choice. Some, you can. You you're going to be a chicken in distress. <laughs> and, no. and then, you know, six people at a time, the video's going to be played in the back. So it's like different characters. It's not really like a, a copy of Andy Warhol. It's actually the manifestation of something he's yeah. really known for. And the most famous quote, everyone will, you know, someday get their 15 minutes of fame. Yeah. And that's what really, where we are right now with reality TV and yeah. YouTube and all these kind of social media sites. And because of the fact that, you know, over the years, especially the elements you've provided with all of the film and stuff. Yeah. Well, and I'm going to perform as well. I am? Yes, you are. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's um, fine. Dancer, Sign the waiver. How many dancers are we going to have? I think I might do like a like a homage to like Eve's Klein or something, you know, when he like took all the women and painted them and put them on the canvas, something like that. Don't like that. We're looking at this some of your work. <laughs> now tell us about this piece, uh, Pamela. 
you didn't go there too bad you missed the show <laughs> gotta see this one <laughs> um I don't know. I don't remember. Can you ask me something else? <laughs> it is. Fun. You know, it's so Next. funny because when you talk to artists so often, and, and you're the perfect example, uh -oh. you're not necessarily comfortable talking about the art itself. Are I mean, you kidding me? I can tell you that performance right now, like the woman that was performing with me, she was like, I was putting paint on, she was taking it off, and it was like the whole construction, deconstruction of the moment. So I can get into it with you if you really want me to, but I think all your viewers are going to be bored. No, <laughs> come on. I always got shyness about it. I never thought you just thought we were stupid the whole time. That's all oh, how the hell do I make a living? Yeah. <laughs> so anybody can come to the party. Yeah, definitely. You, tickets are available. It's called uh, FMA Presents the Factory Girls. It is happening at Massic Studio, February 25th. It will be absolutely amazing for tickets. Yeah. You can, uh, go to the Factory Girls Eventbrite site. It's on the screen for you right now. And partial proceeds are going to benefit the Sarah McLaughlin School of Music Foundation, Beautiful. which is amazing. And this is just part of why Vancouver is becoming so renowned for the contemporary art scene that's fostering here, you guys. Thanks so much, you guys. Oh, cool. Thank you for having us. Rad, you guys. Our we pleasure. appreciate it. We're going to take a break.